Ayo, back at it again with another video. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Again, videos have been doing pretty great lately. So, you know, when I say thank you, you know, at the very beginning of my video, I, I, I really mean it. You all have been really good to me lately. So, thank you. So this video is about um, my belief that South Korea should develop a nuclear weapons program as a counterbalance to North Korea. As we see in the news all the time, you know, North Korea every once or twice a year is very, like, I don't know, talking about nuclear weapons, doing another missile test, you know, Kim Jong-un just, you know, trying to get in the news every once in a while. But I truly think, if I zoom over to Google Maps here, we have... South Korea down here, North Korea, and China right here. China is a big nuclear power. Russia is a big nuclear power. North Korea has developed nuclear weapons, and South Korea does not. However, South Korea, United States, Japan, close allies, Japan does not have nuclear weapons. Japan, the bombings of Hiroshima and... Nagasaki were the only times atomic bombs were dropped on citizens, civilians. Those were the only two bombs that were ever used in our our history. However, we have you know a rogue nuclear North Korea it's constantly threatening South Korea, especially Seoul, especially. You know, the poor here, Busan, you know, all of South Korea. I, what is, let's check the distance from Seoul to the DMZ. That's about 35 miles. You know, that's not a lot. You know, the demilitarized zone is, you know, pretty heavily fortified. And... Artillery can definitely reach Seoul and in Chan and in all these areas here. But in a war between North and South, the, different, the distance between Pyongyang and Seoul is about 120 miles. It's not a lot, not a, not a long distance. And if a war does break out, the North Koreans are probably going to use nuclear weapons. And the way to counterbalance that is to develop nuclear weapons of your own. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you look up South Korea nuclear weapons, you go to a BBC article about um, basically stationing um, U.S. nuclear subs in South Korea every once in a while. But the BBC article that I really want to focus on is South Koreans want the bomb, and I... I personally think they should do it. I I hundred uh, percent unequivocally agree that the South Koreans should develop nuclear weapons as a counterbalance to North, you know, a rogue nuclear North Korea. Um, I highly recommend you go through this article. Um, it's a nice. I I like to read. You know, it talks about. Um, all these, you know, different, you know, citizens from South Korea. Um, one quote that really stood out to me is the U.S. not going to use nukes to defend us, so we should be in control of our own defense. Um, um, the woman was torn over whether the U.S. would defend South Korea and thought it would be better to just have them just in case. Um, so... There's, you know, a growing part of the South Korean population that think they need the bomb. And to be completely honest, I agree. Again, 100%, un unequivocally, I think the South Koreans should develop nuclear weapons as a counterbalance to a nuclear rogue North Korea. Because if you just look in this circle right here, you got the Russians at Vladivostok right here, nuclear power. China's a nuclear power. North Korea's a nuclear power. Are South Korea and Japan nuclear powers? No, not at all. Japan's not. South Korea's not. Taiwan's not. 
You know, the previous video I made was I think Taiwan should get nuclear weapons as a counterbalance and a nuclear deterrent against China. And I'm going to be blunt and say I agree wholeheartedly that South Korea should develop a nuclear weapons program of their own to counterbalance a, you know, a murderous dictator who has a handful probably 25 30 nuclear weapons at this point so i definitely think south korea should develop a nuclear weapons program as a counterbalance against north korea and, to, and it's showing north korea that you know not to use nuclear weapons because then south korea would use them so i think south korea definitely should I think Taiwan should. Um, Japan, uh, Japan is very pacifist after the Second World War. I don't think they ever would. Um, but I definitely think South Korea and Taiwan should develop nuclear weapons programs to counterbalance and deter North Korea and China. So that's the video. That's just my spiel. That's just my spiel. Um, thank you for watching. Again, the videos have been doing really great lately, so thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.